Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Rat Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and uh, Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading <clears throat> for December 17 to December 23rd, 2018 and uh, while I'm doing the shuffling um, I want to remind you once again that this is a general reading for Taurus star sign and is going to resonate in a different level for uh, a different individual therefore in this video I will do the spread, I will try my best to uh, explain the meanings of the cards, you know, but the best way uh, how you how they can resonate is uh, that you align them uh, through my explanations uh, to your personal situation. If you want uh, your personal situation to be just like the examples in this video, and specifically cards are drawn for it, well, that is a subject to a personal reading, and uh, for such a reading, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video, and there you can uh, see all of my services and their pricing. Also, by until the end of December, <clears throat> there is a special going on, and basically the prices for the 20 and the 30 minute star reading are reduced. So that being said, uh, these are the four general cards for the um, for the upcoming week. This is going to be an enhanced spread and uh, as an enhanced spread uh, we are going to pull additional card per position. So the first position that we do have, this is going to be the topic for your week. We do have the Queen of Pentacles so it does look like that this is going to be a very good week of consolidation and really placing or establishing roots in a certain positions. The second card here points <coughs> to the core of the situation and that is going to be the temperance card or in this case it does points to the recognition of what needs to be done uh, for, the, for the lack of a better term. We're going to go in there much more deeper in a second. Now uh, the third card that are to be the predicaments. We do have the Queen of Cups but this is going, is this going to be a person or not? Is going to be defined by the second card that I'm going to draw for that position. And the last one that is going to be the Guidance, Seven of Cups. So it does look like some sort of a revelation or it does look like that you are to recognize, you know, the right from the wrong thing to be done. This is just a, a overview, a very superficial one of the reading. So now let's go into more deeper into the cards position. So we do have the Five of Swords here along with the Queen of Pentacles. So what this um, combination represents is that you are to recognize that your limits and your capabilities lies way further beyond what you are currently performing and what you are currently incorporating in general into your life. Now the Five of uh, Swords is a quite fearsome enemy to the Queen of uh, Pentacles and the Five of Swords here exactly represents the, sh the shackles that you have placed upon yourself. Just to give you an example here, you know, you, you want to be in a relationship, let's say that way, you're single currently and you want to be in a relationship relationship and you're shackling yourself with a very low criteria so kind of like you don't have that confidence in order to approach people that you think or that you find them very uh, very handsome you know and very enthralling but in the same time you may think that you are not in the same level you know you're not enthralled them overall and this week those shackles of uh, self-imposed boundaries and self-imposed blockages as well are going to drop as you are to recognize here with the queen of pentacles that um how can i place it really that you do have so much more to offer into the world with uh with your current standpoints you know with what you are in general so you don't have to change it is just you need to open yourself more to the world so the world the world can appreciate you more much more. On top of that, these uh, these couple of cards here are pointing to the recognition of the need one to stabilize its current positions, either into career or either into one's relationship. And uh, this is a, a very thin line here that I'm going that I'm going to run through. And uh, I have to systemize these words, guys. So. Um, 
instead of constantly commiserating upon ourselves and self-pitying ourselves, you know, for that uh, things are going bad or things aren't going exactly in the way that we are expecting them to go, uh, <clears throat> we should pick ourselves together and capitalize on the resources that we currently possess and as soon as we start doing that or you Tauruses start doing that you are to see that you can do much more with those resources than you are uh, achieving at that very moment and a bigger portion of that like I said it is the self-imposed um, blockages that you have placed in front of yourself uh, for example you are not allowed to do these things and you're not, you're not allowed to approach certain people you are you know you are not worthy of to take a certain job and etc etc this is just a, a self-imposed blockages and as i said here throughout that week you are to realize that you can't accomplish way much more now on the resources i mean time i mean emotional investments i mean as well money it does depend on every single one of you that's why in the start of the video i said that the uh, the level of resonation is going to be different for every single one of you so some of you may realize that they are throwing their time in a very futile direction and instead of that to redirect it into more productive things, things that until this very moment they thought that they are forbidden fruits for them and etc, etc. The uh, temperance card here, in addition to the uh, page of cups, now we do have another natural enemies. So these cards, all in all, uh, are pointing <clears throat> that you are uh, going from the fulcrum into this week and to capitalize and stabilize your positions with the realization that things doesn't have to change, all right? It is just your, not exactly your perspective, I don't know how to put it really, but let's say your taking on things needs to take a little bit of a different perspective and what we do talk about here is that <clears throat> the flow of events or your relationship uh, or your um, career and etc etc are exactly as they has to be it is just you're taking them in the wrong way so uh, for some of you Tauruses that could this week December 17 to December 23rd could be a, a huge wake-up call, a, a point of a huge breakthrough. And I don't want to take me in the wrong way of saying that you are taking the things around you in the wrong way. It is just you are way too much underestimating yourself. This is why you are taking them in a very wrong way. And people who are underestimating themselves, they think that the change is going to bring them exactly the breakthrough that they need, all right? But this time around, instead of waiting for the change, to bring you the breakthrough you need, you are to create the circumstances or the uh, the prerequisite in order to make that breakthrough moving on forward. And here, the the um, temperance card is pointing that first thing you need to attend to are the chores into your routine, the chores into your relationship, the chores into your career as well. Now these things need to be settled down. They these things need to be overcome. For one or another reason or one or another way you know so you can basically clear your environment or clear clear your field for to take on the now pleasant stuff around you so this week again it is a week where you have to kind of throw yourself with full strength if I may express myself or charge yourself with a, a full tenacity toward dealing with all the chores that are surrounding you and this is how you are going to start you know expanding your limits of capabilities the next card that we do have this is going to be the queen of cups which is the challenge that you need to overcome followed by the ace of cups so that is an expectations from a person that you do have which are not going to be uh, proven efficient so they are going to prove themselves futile now what that person it's basically doing here it is just I cannot say that they are really selfish and it's really hard to explain it but that person most likely a woman it is a, a daydreamer I mean that person uh, promises great things you know telling you that everything is going to be all right but if you don't take the things into your own personal hands nothing is going to be all right so this again like I saying like I'm saying this reading here or that week 
for December 17 to December 23rd, Taurus is where you take really you, the your personal fate in your personal hands and doing something with it. Wow, this person is convincing you that the things are going to happen on their own accord and it is very difficult not to believe her. I'm saying her because we do have the Queen of Cups, but it could be as well a male. All right, it could be a, a man. So, uh, it's and what is making it more difficult is that they can really touch your inner personality. What I mean here is that they can really touch your emotional state, making you feel comfortable when they talk to you or when you spend time with them, giving you an examples, how you know things are settling themselves on their own accord. And it is very difficult, again, not to believe into that person, but in the same time, that reading here shows that you alone are to be the one who forge your own personal faith. Now, one thing else how these cards could represent themselves or how they can manifest, it could be a person who has a, a deep emotional um, attraction towards you. So that, that could be a person who loves you. I don't want to say loves you. They love to love people. And maybe for the lack of having anybody else, they love you. All right. So that person loves to love. It's not like they do have something personal towards you. It is just this time around they are finding you the most appropriate, you know, person to love. And if that's the case, then their um, their emotional affinity constantly to spend time with you and constantly to help you when they when you don't need their help or when they simply cannot help you any way around because we. Because as we do have the Queen of Pentacles here in a main position, everything but a material help is going to be a predicament, especially in an emotional so-called help. So people are going to stifle you with, uh, with their emotional shenanigans. Because deep down within yourself, you will know that if you don't make any steps forth, uh, nothing is going to be all right, or at least whatever you want to be all right is not going to be all right until you don't attend into it. So um, <clears throat> that week, the way I see it is that you have to basically roll up the sleeves and start doing something to improve your personal circumstances. And the best starting point for you, Taurus, is the chores into your environment. And again, love is a good thing, but you have to... How can I place it? You should recognize when the time for that thing to be, um, for the love to be experienced to come around and that is not this specific week. This specific week is where you consolidate positions. So the last card that we do have here, this is going to be the Seven of Cups, which points to the guidance that Tarot is giving to you. That is going to be another natural enemies that we do have. The Seven of Cups with the Tree of Wands is that it is exactly what it points, the drop of the veil. It is kind of like you do have a one perspective and now everything that is happening into your uh, into your environment it is pointing to completely different strategies that needs to be uh, uh, obtained it, it it could actually manifest in a very very positive way it could point you that a, a dream of yours you thought unreachable until this very moment can be actually achieved but because we do have the tree of wands here it means that it's going to take much more time than anticipated first thing that you have to do is if you charge toward that dream of yours but before that consolidating your current positions so making a milestone or making a checkpoint if you want to say it that way as well you need you after that needs to establish a a very proven patterns in order to reach it so it's kind of like it takes a lot of preparation it takes a lot of investigation as well and a lot of planning and it's gonna take much more time but what we do have here it is a, a, re a revelation or a, a, a revealance I don't know how to say it really but let's say the reveal of a, a chore of a, a new field which you can conquer all right and that will happen as a circumstantial thing but you recognizing that your limits and your capabilities are going far beyond what you are placing as a, a capabilities and limits in front of yourself so uh, what I can say here, 
just to all in all summarize uh, that reading guys is that this week uh, you have to start uh, how can I place it think big you need to kind of um, recognize that it's it won't hurt you if you try something different it ain't gonna hurt you if you explore additional options available that you do have currently in your environment all right as I said it the change is not gonna come on its own it's gonna come by you provoking it so you have to try things in a different way you have to try to approach your relationship in a different way you gotta try to approach your career in a different way a little bit more cockier all right but in the same time much more productive and um, again don't allow people to stifle you emotionally here especially this person because what they do, what they're going to do is just place a, a kind of like futile clamorous belief beliefs within you and is going to and they are going to eat your time as well so that was the tarot reading now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and what they are to show us is a event that uh, you Tauruses should either look forward to or uh, try to avoid in uh, any way possible now usually the event that uh, Lenormand is pointing is very hard to be avoided really it's it's because even if you think you know what is going to happen it happens in very unpredictable circumstances so the first card that we do have that is the key the key points to discovery it points to either opening or closing as well so we do have a discovery here where you realize that your capabilities and that you uh, are going far beyond what you thought all right and as well that you do have additional chores additional options available to conquer in front of yourself then the next one this is going to be the mice and the mice point to a uh, problems buried beneath so what we do have here is discovery of problems which are going to be resolved for one or another way because the path it's pointing to a, a choice so what we do have from the Lenormand is that the event this week is gonna bring you a discovery why things aren't working you are to find out that there is a there is a circumstances or there is a prerequisite within your environment within your relationship or within your career that are slowing you down or they are blocking your progress forth and how this event is going to play out is that you are going to be in a in a decisive position how to deal with those predicaments and because we do have the choice the choice will be entirely entirely yours how to how you are to deal it the way i see it that you do have one way already established one and another one that it is a little bit more cocky and bolder you know in order to overcome it and the whole reading here points that you should try the different one that you have tried until this very moment so that being said guys this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for december 17 to december 23rd 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again that was a general reading for taurus star sign and it's going to resonate in a different level for every single one of you now if you want your uh, personal situation to be as an, an example as the examples in these videos and that I'm drawing a, a specific cards for it you know so that is a personal reading and for personal readings uh, please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing and if you do so don't forget that the prices of the 20 and the 30 minutes are now reduced for the duration of the month December. Rod signing out now see you next time bye